The 2022 committee says it is not within its mission to choose candidates for the 2023 uh, general election. In a statement, the co-convener said while the committee is interested in the quality of leadership that will emerge in Nigeria at all levels, it considers attempts to link the committee with candidates or political parties for the 2023 elections as an unwarranted and unnecessary distraction. The committee said candidates are only chosen by political parties and the group is not a political party. It pointed out that all the 100 leading lights of the 2022 committee have the capacity for national leadership as amongst the very active participants are over seven persons from three or more political parties who have already publicly declared their aspiration to lead the country. Right, for more clarification on this uh, and uh, more around the uh, 2022 committee, uh, the mission to rescue Nigeria, we're joined by Kashim Ibrahim Imam, co-convener of the 2022 uh, committee. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Well, before Thank now, you. it, it seemed viewers. the Nigerian elite has been, you know, aloof, more or less, uh, detached from the goings-on, just living politics for those who are ready to play dirty. Why all of a sudden is the Nigerian elite ready to, you know, jump into this uh, murky world of politics and governance? How do you hope to rescue Nigeria? First, I want to agree with you that this is something that is entirely novel. It's something that has never happened in our political history. It's also true that um, um, it's quite a pleasant um, surprise that uh, men like um, Aliko Dangote, uh, Atito Peterside, Udo Doma, Jim Movia, Tony Arumelu, um, Femi Otodala, and the younger ones, Wale Tinumbu, um, Tokwe Shonevi, um, and a host of other men, Nigerians, um, who have excelled um, in the field of business, are coming out. Um, they are very sheltered zone to um, say, look, uh, our country is in crisis. We must do something. And it's not just coming out of their comfort zones. Um, it's much more than that. You, we, in three weeks, um, we've met twice. Um, the retreat in Lagos lasted three days, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's incredible that for those three days, um, these uh, business um, leaders um, shut down their businesses and they came together with politicians to address national issues. Uh, it's in recognition of the fact that um, we have problems as a nation, problems in all the critical areas, and we identify three, the economy, security, the political transition program um, uh, alongside with the politicians. As for the um, politicians, it's quite significant that politicians met across party lines. So you have those from the APC, you also have those from the PDP. Mm -hmm. You have those from the APC, like um, um, Governor Achiku Bagudu, Kayode, Fire me, um, Governor Badaru, Governor Dev Mahi, um, Governor Benayade, Governor Seyolu. Um, um, All right. Uh, All right. Quite a number of, quite them. A number of yes. them. Also from the PDP, PDP. side, um, Tambol was there, um, Okoa was there, yeah. um, Obaseki was there, and a host of others. Um, this, I think, is you should appreciate the seriousness that. Um, is attached to the 22 committee. 22. All right, Kashi. Uh, well, we're going, to, we're, going to, uh, we're going to ask you sometime why wasn't uh, these people their names known? But you're mentioning their names already because 100 uh, said they were in, the people who attended were not being revealed. But mm. your aim is to rescue Nigeria and map a new consensus for national rebirth. This implies, uh, if I'm correct, that Nigeria is in captivity or bondage and needs rescuing from what? 
particularly. And they want Nigeria reborn. C can you explain all well, this? My own understanding of it is the fact that, um, as I said, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, that there are fundamental issues. And uh, I will take these one after the other. Insecurity. We just, even um, five, six years ago, it wasn't this bad. You have the Boko Haram in the northeast. You have bandits across the northwest. Um, I, I'm a farmer, among so many other things that I do. I have not been to my farm in five, six years. The bandits just literally chased us away. And it's right on the Kaduna Abuja Express Road. Um, they came five times to my farm and they stole more than 500 animals. Now, the tragedy is this I imported, these animals were imported cows, goats. The goats that I brought into the country, they grow to 250 kg. And these bandits, they don't know the difference between the white flyny, uh, Bororo, and um, Briangus, um, Breman, Bre uh, Angus. The animals that are protein grow to 1,000 kg. They don't even know the difference. So um, in the area of security, we're in crisis. It's, it's a fact that we shouldn't, um, nobody can deny. In the, the area of the economy, we are in trouble. There's abject and massive poverty across the land. Um, uh, it, it has wiped, uh, the poor are poor, yes, but today we don't even have a middle class anymore. So um, it's in realization and in recognition of this fact that we felt that something must be done and something must be done quickly. And so the name, how, the how name, exactly are you going to now go about you know, this, this in concrete terms, in terms of strategy. Is this committee uh, just going to play an advisory role or are you going to be coming up with very concrete, templates, you know, templates, templates or, you know, uh, and, and yeah. Yeah, and it's also um, very good that, so you have um, participants from both parties. Um, and at the end of the day, um, we've drawn up we broke into, up into um, three different committees, one on the economy, one on security, one on political transition. And as I said, the first day we had a plenary that everybody participated in. The second day we all broke uh, into different committees. And the committees, by the way, uh, met till, uh, for at least 10 hours. So uh, for, for this what kind of... What issues that came out of this sitting? Well, um, number one... Um, your colleague just <laughs> rightly observed that he said, how come I was disclosing the names? Okay. I felt free to do so on account of the fact that um, a lot of these names is already in the public domain. Um, uh, uh, the media uh, see us going in and coming out, out of the different committees is something that is not hidden. But, and so, uh, the different groups or, that were represented there they all sent in their representatives. For example, the governors, it was, they nominated, and I think what, what was done was mainly uh, the chairman of the governor's forum in the different uh, geopolitical zones were nominated. But Fahimi was nominated in his capacity as chairman of the Nigerian governor's forum. Um, Atiku Bagudu of KB in his capacity as chairman, um, progressive governor's forum. Tambol in his capacity as the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum. So, but as for the details, we kept repeating one thing, Chatham House, Chatham House, Chatham House. Um, at the appropriate time, and that is not in the far uh, distant future, no. We'll come out with it. It's immediate. Maybe Actually, okay. we, have, we have two meetings scheduled, one for next Sunday and still another one. Mm -hmm. The one on Sunday is for the steering committee, then... Um, the one on, on the following Sunday is for, for, for all members of commit, uh, the 2022 committee. Let me throw this in. It's, it's, it's sounding nice. It's, 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 it's looking good that people like you of your stature are rising up to say, let's do something about what is happening in our country. So I am interested in this. If Nigeria, from what I read, is not secured, peaceful, and united 
there will be no election in what in 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 that is that what you're saying because from what i read you said this has, has to happen before 2023 yes some what you're implying without necessarily uh, yes definitely this was discussed um we, you are conscious of the fact that we met with mr president just last week he hosted us to dinner he's very 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 the committee yes okay He's very receptive of this noble idea. Mm -hmm. He allowed key government functionaries to address us um, on the issues of the security, uh, economy. Um, so uh, we are encouraged by that fact, and we are convinced that uh, once we present our report, it will be implemented, mm -hmm. both before and after the elections. And the, the president did make a very, very important point where he asked, let me quote, uh, politicians must look beyond gaining power to how they can leverage public positions in the process of societal change. Uh, you know, in, in other words, service. Service is a key word. I guess that's what the 2022 uh, committee is all about. But yes. there seems to be some kind of trust deficit in the polity as soon as people heard about 2022 uh, committee the first question was are they aligning with some you know politicians presidential ambition is that what it is about will this committee evolve into becoming a political party a pressure group well, or something it's, Post not, it's not evolving into a political party or kingmakers uh, well uh, you can choose your words um, but i know for certain that is not evolving into a political party. You see, um, on the issue of the aspiration of one individual or the other individual, I addressed it. I said, look, you have, we succeeded in bringing together under one roof 100 leading lights, 100 men and women that are uh, accomplished, that uh, if you just, any single one of us can be president. That is the caliber of people that were able to Put together. So if I may ask you, what stops me running? Nothing, what, absolutely maybe nothing. Maybe perhaps you're... I'm the person that uh, uh, people are, or those that have gone to town are, are alluding to. Who knows? So it's fine. Well, let, 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 let me chip in this. Now you're saying, saying that. Could you clarify the rumor? Because the rumor is making the rounds, whether true or not. That uh, this uh, the, 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 that the committee is fronting for the central bank governor uh, Godwin Mfile. I'm saying is a rumor. You're here. You're part of the 22 committee. Clarify that. Fact. I certainly have not heard. I'm not privy to that. Um, Mfile was invited um, in recognition of the critical role that he's playing. Um, but beyond that. He is not a convener. By the way, let me also put a place on record at this point that this didn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. We didn't just wake up from sleep one day and say, OK, let's meet. And if you look at the quality of the representation, it is impossible to just pick up your phone under one week, two weeks, to say, OK, come. And they will abandon everything that. We worked on this for at least two hours. I told the story of how Undika will call and say, look, let's have um, dinner, uh, or let's meet at the judge, midnight. If I look at my wrist, it to be 12 midnight. Um, then another time, let's meet at uh, Whitbaker again. If you, I look at my maybe 10, 10 um, p.m. Sometimes, I uh, would even take off from Lagos to live for London, to live for Paris, because of the opportunity that uh, it accords us. Um, the uh, letter that we wrote, and we've sent it to everybody. The word that we used was, this is an unnecessary distraction. Okay, great. And, and that is precisely what it is. The right. insinuation that this is being done for one in individual. In a hall where you have 100 presidential materials, I refuse to accept this. And if it's being done for one individual, by the way, it is being done for me. I'm doing it for myself. I'm not doing it for anybody. Mm. And I guess that, 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 that's, that's national, why we call it. That that, that's ethos. why we call it. I need to put this in. <laughs> Nigerians seem not to believe in Nigeria. How will 2022 uh, committee aggregate, you know, sentiments or tendencies in a way that every Nigerian can buy into? See, in 30 I, seconds. I, I think at the root of all the problems, the number one most fundamental problem that we have is the economy. 
if the economy is right. So Singapore is not going through these kind of challenges. Dubai is not going through these kind of challenges, or the United Arab Emirates. Um, Kuwait is not going through. Qatar, um, and I can go, Denmark, um, Norway, um, Netherlands. Why? They are prosperous. Okay. And I will leave it there. Thank you so much. Shim, Ibrahim, Imam, Cook, Convener, 2022 Committee. We wish you the best. Thank and and, 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 and believe there's something good. Thank you very much.